Actually, come to think of it, there's only like three very tree-like Pokemon, right? I think the best one would be a grass electric type, but it's Trevenant instead. Like, it's just a Trevenant instead of being dead and filled with spook. It's filled with Christmas spirit. <laughs> it was a dark and star actually it was just a really really boring day and it died in the battle against a very unlucky approach towards ash facing arguments <laughs> it, it ran into that 10 year old's charizard oh my gosh i finally freaking found it oh my gosh yes ah Yes! Ah! Oh my gosh! Quick reset! Ah! Guys! I have been doing this since December 3rd! Ah! Quick! I gotta kill it! Oh! Oh my gosh! I am so happy! I can move on with my life! This is a great morning for a morning stream. Quick, run! I hope it stays in the ball, too. I, I would land a crit at that moment. Process to hunt another shiny. Uh, yeah, pr process to hunt another shiny would be right. Okay, quick ball I don't think is going to work anymore, but that's okay. I got like five Pokemon to run through and I don't know. I just really don't want to use a Master Ball if I don't have to. As soon as it struggles once, that's when it's time to utilize that. But I would really like to catch it in a quick ball if I could. We'll just use the good old up A down B technique and it like honestly doesn't really work but hey it will work eventually. Do I have enough of those? I, I got I guess I got 20. Timer ball for the time Pokemon. I can actually get behind that. That's a good combo. Okay, I seriously thought that was going to catch it for a second. I was like, oh my gosh. That's fortuitous. Spam press B, quick. Yeah, that didn't really work very much. Hold B, yep. Ever since Generation 1, there's been this thing for like up A, down B. And timing it right I really feel like if I was a developer for Pokemon I would make that actually increase the chances somehow I would figure out a way to program that to do that you have to not want it and it's caught the journey is complete, and it couldn't have happened any sooner because I was planning on ending this stream at 11 o'clock to go and take care of some business, like getting Kirby um, before doing some other business and coming back to stream at like 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, so in like five hours, um, for the Tunic game that I was playing the last time I streamed on YouTube. But oh my gosh, I finally get to condense this into like a shorter video so like 5820 pokemon for this shiny dialga my journey with this dialga is finally complete oh my gosh i am going to buy some more jelly beans
podcast for me. Well, <laughs> hey, well, thank you guys for making this an enjoyable experience. I can now go move on with the rest of the game. I did actually beat the Elite Four, so I could go and check out Shaman, I believe. Um, but I didn't end up catching it. I just wanted to make sure I got the item and all that. Um, but I will be doing more shiny hunts for sure on this game. Yes, definitely. Quick save. Thank you so much, Tack Rules, for the reminder, because that would have been sad. I think at that point... I would have just justified using the bot. And of course, we do a Zelda, we do a Pokemon, we save once again, and because we're Space Cadets, as always, we save once more. Always triple save whenever you do something awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching with me, for going on this epic adventure for catching Shiny Dialga. I have some stream stuff to adjust at the end. So we'll uh, make those adjustments before the next shiny hunt and have Dialga down there in the bottom somewhere representing the ordeal of 5,820 encounters. I do also have somewhere a Palkia shiny hunt set up to do, so there's going to be a lot of room for shiny hunting here in the near future. I'll catch you guys in a later stream.